so hello everyone and now today again we are live first of all to pep you up to give you some inspiration to fire your batteries to make sure that we are all aligned to the cause right a very very warm welcome to each one of you and i hope you're doing well and uh, i hope you have revised what we've done so far and we start with yet another series of very high yielding revision for your upcoming exams yes so we are we are very very excited for this as well so first of all i thought you know before we start the you know academics i thought you know we'll give you some inspiration the one of the things that has always worked for me is choosing your battles wisely now what does this mean now i know as a person as a person you might be super super emotional about multiple things you know i am for that for example you know you might have a very very strong interest in politics it is possible and i keep seeing my students getting you know debating into ke is election mein kaun jeetega kaun harega kya hai and but you know you have a exam coming up in one month so it is like it is okay to be emotional about multiple things it is okay to have you know strong opinion about multiple things but it is also important to prioritize them so what i have done in my life is i am a person who has multiple interests and i have you know i i find myself drawn into multiple battles the only thing that i do is i prioritize them at you know at one point of time i take on i you create a priority list and i you know focus on one so for example now i ask you today if you are a student who has a exam coming up in two months what is your priority you have your priority is exam so then you you know kind of you know titrate the priorities choose your battles wisely is my first message for you today okay so uh, something that you know we all understand is the overwhelming uh, you know uh, course that we have for the upcoming exams and and that's what scares some of you out yes and uh, which is very very natural so please understand that you're not the only one who is going to face these challenges so each one of us has to make the best of what we have yes so i do agree that the course is really vast but i also want to tell you that you've been studying really really hard yes for to achieve this to you know to reach to the dream of your choice so now when you're getting closer to the exams it's very essential that you keep your calm and one of the best ways to keep your calm is you know divide your day into smaller targets i would always say that you know okay we all have a target that we want to appear in the neat pg exam with the best of our abilities but you know the exam is still a month 50 days 55 days ahead of you so you know uh, if it really gets overwhelming for you which it does a lot of time for me as well because i'm not a multitasker let's say so if you're not a multitasker and it seems overwhelming for you then the best thing is to divide your day into smaller targets yes those smaller targets make it so much more achievable so much more doable and they are the ones who are going to give you confidence that yes you can do it and you know these small steps that you take will help you reach the bigger target so always and always uh, i i think well planning or you know when you begin your preparation a good plan uh, is something which is a very essential ingredient so you know after the dvt is over and you want to sit and revise but it seems so vast so divide your day take a pen and a paper write down what you specially want to do in a particular day and i don't want it to be i want to do physiology no okay that's not what is a well defined target so i want your targets to be small i want them to be very well defined what exactly in physiology do you want to do and write down the corresponding number of hours you want to take suppose you want to do a specific topic and say that i have to do it in one hour so this is what will help you achieve it it will make you feel very confident you'll be able to do multiple things in a given day and your day becomes super productive this is something that i follow even now in my life right and you know i think in for this particular task if you make a checklist or you use the planner that we have given you or you know some of you might be using the dams planner where we have uh, like like suppose you have to do dqb suppose you have to do the dams question bank it looks like okay it's such a large cube bank but if you convert it into a smaller target of 50 mcq that is sure. what is we call as hashtag #dqb promise so if you convert it into 50 mcq every day in the morning now what will happen is 
before you you know actually you know see a progress happening you just you are thinking that okay i'm doing only 50 questions at the end of 30 days you will be at 1500 mcqs done at the end of you know six months somebody would actually be at say 9000 mcqs which would have looked a very very overwhelming number to begin with yeah. so that is what is breaking the goal into smaller targets now the third thing i think you want to say uh, deepthi wants to add something yes <laughs> i think th this is something which is again very very close to my heart and uh, i would always always say that whatever you are doing if if you add emotion to it you know uh, you have a different level of attachment to your work then yes so uh, do it with all your heart do it with all the truthfulness i know it something scares you because it is important for you it just shows how much it means to you in life and that's what makes it beautiful you know um, we humans are really special and we are special because we have these emotions believe me these emotions don't make you weak they are your strengths okay use them as your strength so get attached to not to people at this time i would say get attached to your work get attached to your dream get attached to your persistence your desires this is the attachment that i want from you in next 50 days okay be committed not to a person but to your work to your goal to your dreams and you know you will realize that these commitments that you make uh, it's not necessarily meaningful only when you make it to a person it's even more meaningful when you make these attachments with your commitments to your own self they they help you in your personal growth academic professional emotional as a person as well so make more commitments to yourself be attached to your things you know make them an agenda and i'm sure when you practice these things um, it it will really really bring a different level of result yes it also brings a lot of happiness it also brings a lot of content um when you put your heart into it so go ahead and you know these put all these emotions that you really feel are your weakness put them to your work and believe me you will see that they are not your weakness they are your biggest strengths okay and you know what actually do you remember in life is very important to understand that many of us we think that exams are about facts but actually speaking facts are a very small part of your exam so what happens is if we try to bet on memory now this is something that has been going wrong in the exam preparation since your school days even if you recall that when you were in school and you were preparing for an exam somebody said yaar if you eat badam or almond it will improve your memory and you start okay isse main jeetunga and you know even if you consume so many almonds it would not actually give you a top rank so what really matters is facts are a very small part of it but if you know the thinking process behind a fact you are likely to remember it for long time for example if i tell you something and then i tell you okay why behind it for example if i tell you that okay this is the appearance of brain hemorrhage on a ct scan and then i tell you the why behind it that why it is happening like this now once you have a you know a software which is telling that that all the interconnections now this becomes a understanding memories are forgotten understanding are uh, is long lasting now but even bigger than that what i have learned in life is that you will forget facts but if the facts have a thinking process then it becomes a concept you are going to remember it for a long time because it is your understanding and understanding has uh, you know is more widespread in your brain but if i add to it emotion just like dr deepthi said you know years later now today if i ask you to look back at your class 10th uh, you know uh, classroom event that happened in your class you might forget everything or whatever we are teaching you today or in this last two weeks in dvt whatever we are teaching you aaj se 10 saal baad 20 saal baad you will forget everything but you will say mast maza aaya tha yaar sahi padha tha yaar maza aa gaya tha when the end the emotions last the longer so in, if you have facts with thinking process with the emotional component to it यार ये मैंने मेरा बचपन का सपना पूरा करना है मैंने यार ये मुझे ब्रेन सर्जन बना है यू हैव दैट इमोशन अटैच टू इट इफ देन इट बिकम्स अ मिशन एंड दैट हैज इमेंस पावर टू इट एंड आई वुड अगेन से इफ यू कीप कंसंट्रेटिंग ऑन मेमोरी एज अ टूल इट विल बिकम इट विल बैकफायर इट विल नॉट हेल्प यू विन
it has to be a fact with a thinking process with a emotion around it and that is what is going to be more long lasting and together we both would again want you to know that you are enough this is something that has you know we are right now living in a epidemic of you know resources around us which are designed to make you feel inadequate it is today in this century or in this decade we are in a environment where everything is designed to make you feel inadequate i want you to understand so when you look around instagram you look like are yaar ye to chutti pe ja rahe main to yahi baitha kuch bhi nahi ho raha <laughs> then you look are yaar kya bilkul filter pe ekdum skin badi aa raha apna to nahi aa raha you understand there is so much there is so much happening around which is designed to make you feel inadequate but trust me and trust me when i say trust me you know you look at us as somebody who has seen more years in life than you have right now is like everybody has inadequacies everybody has insecurities everybody is in similar doubts as you are aapko lag raha hai ki aap nahi kar paoge lekin jo first aayega usko bhi yahi lag raha hai wo rank aane ke baad duniya badal jati hai winners tell a different story altogether jab hum jeet jate hain to hum usko apni insecurities ko chupa ke hum aise project karte hain ki hum to hamesha se jante the kaise jeetna tha i hope you get it so do not think when you hear somebody who is highly successful ke yaar ye to bachpan se jante the main to nahi janta usko bhi nahi pata tha we are all equally inadequate and equally adequate it is up to us to see the glass as half full or half empty it is up to us how we look at it so it is not about what is surrounding us it is about how we look at the world it is about perspective perspective is everything and you know i think i'll ask dr deepthi to give the final words to push you for today's session and i think one is one another thing which i very often get messages about is comparisons right you're always comparing yourself to x y z around you believe me no two people are same so god has not made you so that you can compare comparisons are done between look alikes okay you are all unique you have to understand that yes you were all made because you are different you were not made to compare with each other because you are special in your own ways and you may have flaws which is absolutely okay but you need to accept them and you need to work out how there would be good things as well about your personality about your existence so you know use those good things to uh, to sort of take you to the next level there there are going to be people who are more intelligent who are more bright but still there is something special about you and created for you which you have to achieve think think of this life as a video game okay you you are out there you are living it you have to enjoy it and there is going to be an end okay but each one of you is a different player playing a different game yes and and that's what life is about so stop these comparisons you're not like anyone else you don't need to be like anyone else you know when people tell me ma'am this person is copying you or that person is, i would say that is that is the best form of flattery but the sad part is if you copy someone or if you are trying to be like someone you can only be as good as they are but the beauty is if you be yourself you're going to be the best so always be yourself accept the flaws that you have but highlight more of the positive things that you have in your aura in your personality and bring them out shine your light there are just good number of things meant for you in life you just have to achieve them as rewards so as you keep going forward as you keep doing things you will get your rewards you'll get your share of everything okay that's that's what the beauty of life is about so stop comparisons you are absolutely enough you have to have that feeling from within it's not something that i can instill in you but yes i am sure once you understand that that i may have something not so good about me but there are other things that are just brilliant about me and you know that's what i am going to focus on that's where i'm going to harness my energy and um we'll all shine our light and we'll all make a huge difference uh in this life so go ahead um be confident stop the comparisons just be your best versions keep improving yourself day by day it's not going to happen in a minute in a second in an hour it's going to take time 
yes and you have free time with you so just try and be your better versions every day okay and finally keep reminding yourself all the successful people that you have seen sachin tendulkar virat kohli i know you know you're all looking at it and uh, all the people that you know of who are doing very very well mother teresa or you know politicians leaders every one of them all have 24 hours in a day and you have the exact same amount of 24 hours so it's like you do the asani you do always feel like yaar usko to bahut zyada time mil raha hoga mujhe bahut kam mil raha hai sabke paas utna hi time hai and it is about who wants to make a bigger mark in this you know the life is temporary like dr dipya said time utna hi hai lekin kya aap usme you do you want to make a big mark in the universe do you want to make a dent in the universe in your time that is the spirit that you need to make and there is a quote that i always like it says a uh, moment of glory is worth more than a lifetime of uh, you know uh, living in shadows living in shadows and it's like us tarah se sochna hai bada sochna hai and i am sure you can make a big big mark in the world and i wish you all the best <laughs>